hello and welcome back to my channel so this video is being shot just after the other one um and i had to wear a beanie is this what people call beanies is this a beanie no it's a barrette okay uh <laughs> that's <laughs> i had to wear a hat uh to just make it look like it's a different video different um setup but anyway um by now if you're following the house story you might know that you are speaking well you're listening to a property owner a round of applause <laughs> anyway um hello if you're new here um by way of introduction my name is mo chifamba as you know i am a chartered accountant living and working in zimbabwe and um on this channel we discuss about finance careers and travel and as i said we are continuing with the house story and today we're going to talk about building versus buying so last week um i had somebody the week before that um i had somebody who reached out to me and said was it not going to be cheaper to build to just buy a complete house instead of building if you compare your bill of materials up to now with the selling prices of houses in the area was it not going to be cheaper to just buy so i also got in the q a i also got a lot of how did you decide whether you want to build or to buy um that sort of thing and then i thought that this was something that people are interested in talking about and really it's a touchy subject it's something that we need to talk about so i'm going to talk about building and buying so the process first so in the process so in terms of buying i know that some banks are offering usd mortgages but other than that you're just buying cash so we're talking about somebody who has a stash of cash that is somewhere that they are ready to build a house and they're ready to own a house and they walk up to somebody who is selling their already built house and put an offer an offer on it and they get their house you know the process they get their notaries whatever whatever is involved are they notaries i don't know they get lawyers involved and a week two weeks a month your house owner and then with building we're talking about somebody who is going to buy land first and then build it from the beginning up to the end so the process for buying is basically simple either you're applying for your mortgage whatever bank and their requirements and then you're so just looking at um looking at looking for a house in a desired locations you know property.co.zw is somewhere if you want to daydream about buying a house somewhere where you can see the location and the kind of cost for the houses and you know what boom at the end of your the month or something you're already owning a house unfortunately with building it does not work that way so let me take you through the entire process of building so number one you have to acquire land so here you're deciding where do you want your house to be do you afford to buy a stand there um are there stands available so the process of acquiring land and then number two after you have learned you're looking at your architecture or oh, whatever those guys that draw things that draw mem that draw plans so now you're looking at getting your plan done and it's not the end you also need to then um submit that plan to the authorities which is the local government local municipality and they have to approve that this plan makes sense for the uh suburb that you want to build your house in then we're also looking at acquiring material so with building you will learn of things that you never knew existed you will learn of different types of nails concrete nails what what nails it is say so you will learn gravel sand pit sand cement rhino set rhino bond all the things you will learn about all these things that you never in your life encountered and you now want to buy so before you even go to acquiring materials you need to look at either you get a bill of materials from a reputable quantity serving company but i didn't do that what i did was i was working stage by stage so basically 
whoever is doing that stage would estimate for me the quantities and then you buy uh, you acquire the materials that you need then you look at hiring labor so when you're looking at building it's very easy to just think of oh my god it's just a builder but you need builders that like the people who do the builder in their teams the dark up boys or whatever they're called the assistants you need carpenters you need somebody who knows about electricity for wiring you need painters you need people to do your scheming you need people to do your tiling like your floors you need plumpers so all those people you are making the decision if you are building to hire this kind of people who is it that you're gonna hire are you gonna just contract one company that then gives you all these people Oh, you're going to go one by one and if you're building slowly and not so pretty big you're going to go through it one by one one by one one by one looking at all the service providers then you're also going to need monitoring because you have so much material there and you also have your house going on like the building of the house going through those builders if left they i mean they're human if left to their own ways they might actually mess up things for you so you need like um a monitoring system how are you going to ensure that they actually show up today today show up to work today how do you ensure that um tomorrow they are coming uh how do you ensure that they are doing what they are meant to be doing how do you know that the things that they are doing are the proper ways so what i actually ended up doing was because i had some family friends who were into building i would say they would occasionally just come to the house and check if whatever the people that i had hired are doing is the correct thing that they should be doing and we would have like revisions or whatever else would be needed then you also need another thing is council approvals so after every stage you go to the council to say this is my plan they approve it this is we've done the ex setting out they approve it we've done the excavation they approve it we've done this thing we're now at wallplate at gelbo roofing they have to approve like all these stages so that your house is up to standard it's not a danger to yourself and to those people that will be living with you i don't know the, the other reasons that's just what i told myself so that is the entire process so from acquiring your land up to when the council approves that your house is ready uh for uh for being occupied stage by stage so that's the entire process so it's not necessarily just waking up and going to buy cement and finding somebody who can do bricklaying and you know giving them a job it's a whole process and to me if i'm going to be asked and if i'm going to be very honest I have done the building that was that I was meant to do for my life. I am never going to do it again unless I need to. Now, now that's where we've got to the pros and cons. I would rather buy something and renovate it, honestly, because building is a lot. So let's look at the pros of building. When you have tight finances or unpredictable finances, it's it makes more sense to build the reason being for um, for you to buy a house like a complete house you actually need to have enough money for everything the land the materials everything the labor because the cost is going to approximate maybe it's going to approximate the um, the the cost of the house is going to approximate the materials plus labor plus land so for you to say you want to buy a full complete house you need stable finances or a mortgage if you have access to it but if you don't and you're getting your money uh not straight straight then you would need like not predictably or like in in in, in fewer amounts uh than you than what is needed for the house you need to build your house half half so building allows for slow progress especially if finances are tight or unpredictable because at least can maria go is jita shok sinu goya bam one million yang goya mo account mako what am i going to take a cement what am i going to build up what am i going to say then 
next time i know yeah you may oh you move on to another stage you know that sort of thing so if your finances are unpredictable building allows that then this one also makes very a lot of sense tailor making or custom building your own place i think this is number one of the main reasons why people prefer to build rather than buy where you have specific requirements or specific preferences for the house that you want like for example for me what that person was saying is when i was talking about saying wouldn't you just buy why wouldn't you just buy instead of doing this is because um you know my house i wanted it to be a home i didn't want it to be a normal house you can go to get it up i wanted it to be a home so i had specific touches that i needed here and there so it also co coincided with the fact that my finances were very tight and unpredictable but <laughs> but yes that's one of the main reasons why i would recommend building at least you get to put the screen door that you like put the windows that you like um the glazing that you like uh put a garage if you can see at my house the houses on both sides don't have carport mine does um because i wanted that so i think if you were to buy a house and then try to turn and make it sometimes maybe the customization wouldn't come out as nice as somebody would just set out to say this is what i want to do uh but there are oh other pro for building nothing beats seeing something come to life i will i don't know how to explain it where you, you at first you have land you see the setting out process everything is coming out to, like the planning the whole process it's a lot it's frustrating it's everything but seeing it all come together that feeling um like on the customization that's when like you're choosing the towels that you like um the color the paint that you like oh my goodness that process is just so so good so so good but also seeing it all come through come together and having taken all these pictures and videos like sometimes i just go through the pictures and the videos i created like a little folder on my phone and like if you're scrolling from the first one going up like you have to see the progress going through and then you just I feel very proud of myself and I'm really very thankful to God for that. I also recommend building. However, however, cones, baby, cones. Number one, it is very frustrating. Especially one, if you're the project manager with another project man like it's your project and then you have like a person who is just like running things prepare for relationships to shake a bit prepare for you to be frustrated to be cursing to bed one night prepare for all that because the entire process is frustrating how is it frustrating number one material under quotes <laughs> This is a word that I just I just made up. So you get a court, you know what? For this process, we want ten bags of cement. You buy ten bags of cement. Somebody tells you, oh no, we need additional ten bags. Upon you know, like you had engaged this person with uh, okay ten bags. And then somebody just wakes up and says, Oh, we quoted you less. We needed twenty bags oh that one is even better at least you can make a plan oh somebody quotes you 10 bags when in actual fact they need two or three bags and you're left with seven bags that you don't know what to do with and you can't return them to the supplier that's number one the material and of course number two unreliable people in terms of both your project management and the service providers that you get people are human people are not perfect and in that imperfection lies the frustration you'll hire somebody to do a b c d for you they will do a b and then decide they don't want to do c d or they'll do a b half c half d and tell you they've done a b c d like 
there's just like a lot of things that need to be done a lot of decisions that there are a lot of things that need to be done a lot of decisions that need to be made and in those you will rub shoulders or rub feathers in not so nice ways with a couple of your service providers you just need to be keep that at the back of your mind with when you start to decide whether you want to build or not up to now i know like some window latches and my house have not been done because the person who was paid to do them didn't do it initially because they were doing all the other stages and stuff and there was a lot of weight that i'd given this man and he didn't do that and then the person who did the painting was meant to of the windows wasn't meant to do that but they didn't do it so now who's gonna do it now who's gonna do it then the other thing is fake supplies of items i got this when i got when i did the tiling everywhere else i was really buying like legit things i never had problems with like this is fake this is not it i had problems with probably you've been told to buy a 12 inch and then somebody gives you a 10 inch or a 14 inch you know like specification that can easily be fixed but i remember when i bought um tower adhesive i bought it from like a recommended supplier from the china guys um and come home that adhesive is the worst adhesive i've ever seen i think oh i have ever interrupted with i had to buy two times the adhesive that i thought was needed number one number two after that after it after like the tiler had done their job the tiles just were just not attaching like it was just not working out they were moving they it was a mess so you run that risk of fake supplies of products and this is legit especially if you buy things from the capital city of which you need to buy things from the capital city because that's where they are a bit more affordable um they are affordable here so whoever is building like even in Gweru, i know people buy things in harare so that part is a lot and then also just the number of decisions guys from what kind of windows are we gonna put like are we gonna put the aluminium ones are we gonna put the normal iron i think i don't know the types of windows all those things it's just a lot and then the other thing is the cost of errors is yours if you are going to build so i'll tell you uh for my foundation so initially when we did the planning when we did the plan i wanted a cabin a cabin uh the type of house that is a cabin needs a, a, the foundation to be strong but when the foundation was being done because we were doing it slowly um i wasn't really paying attention to was it being done according to the specifications that were laid out so that it would be able to hold the roof because the roof would then have like so mine is a double wall right so it's double wall up to um wall plate and then from wall plate then becomes three lines it was supposed to be three lines so we actually had to change the roof from being a cabin house to the roof that is there now um so that co the cost of those areas is yours instead of just going to a cabin and just buying it you know you just get there you know yeah this is the cabin that i like boom 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 you buy and that's it you keep it moving instead of uh, this child and era and then also time frame if you are looking to move immediately into your place then definitely you're gonna go with buying because building because of the approvals the process the blah 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 the stages it's gonna take a little bit of time more than just going to an already built house then i was going to talk also about delays with the council so sometimes you go there for your approvals your council approved builder goes there and say i'm building this 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 i need it approved and sometimes they take long sometimes they don't come sometimes they tell you we don't have fuel for our vehicles sometimes they just give you silly reasons and just don't show up so you have to experience those delays and then the expenses guys building is expensive i feel like if i just had like money to just go buy no go faka one because there are some stages that look so silly 
that you think have this one is gonna be how much i it's so expensive for example windows i spent about two thousand something 2.4 2.5 on windows and doors and actually it's actually more if you include the garage door so just like something that looks so silly like a window like guys would you think a window would be expensive but you just the cost just build up and worse if you start being a slay queen in your building project where you want nice things and you want your nice life to be in the building ah you'll pay for it even like the paints um you would think i paint to when former gaba it a paint and got to rush cash and then they give you a quarter of a thousand dollars for that and like it just builds up and sometimes you ha you have this work oh next month it will be done then you see next month it was chic maria topera it's not done and i know i the next month when the next the next month it was chic your topera mario topera the project is not yet done so sometimes you get an estimate of how much it will cost and then you figure out on the ground a completely different trajectory or a completely different monetary bracket is needed for the entire project because i thought six thousand was gonna be enough for me <laughs> to keep the house because i was just looking at you know what how many bricks would you need how many um pranga for roofing how many roofing sheets full stop that was it like in my mind i simplified it like that and then on actual building it took me like four times that <laughs> four or five times that so you know um that's just uh my experience with building please be ready if you want to build for this to also be your experience and if you have been building or you are building sign off in the comment section what are some of the cons that i've left out what are some of the pros that i've left out or if you've bought a house and you're enjoying just cashing in on that baby uh let me know how is that going would you ever build a house for yourself and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this i think this is going to be the last video on the house and the other week we are back to careers with mode thank you for hanging out with me it was an absolute pleasure to take you on this journey with me and i hope yours starts if it hasn't started already and all the best